In this video, I'm going to show you some essential plugins that real estate agents rely on for their website, specifically for security, for the prevention of spam, and to display their listings through an IDX plugin. So let's go over here to the top of the site and navigate to the dashboard. And from there, we're going to go to plugins and installed plugins. So here you can see we previously installed the Strong Testimonials plugin, and it's been a couple of days actually, and so they're going to ask us to rate the plugin, and this is really common amongst plugin authors. They get these comments and they get to post them on their WordPress depository area so that people can see that this is a helpful plugin. I usually do this as a favor for the plugin author if I really do enjoy the plugin. You can click on Remind Me Later, Don't Show Again. I've already done this, so I'm just going to click on Don't Show Again to get rid of that nag. Now, it's also asking us to update this Akeesmet anti-spam. Akeesmet is something that prevents bots from coming in and hammering your contact pages or otherwise trying to spam your website. And so I like to configure a Keysmit. It is very helpful. And when needed to update, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'll click on update now here. Now WP Engine always asks you to back up your website before you go and make these updates. I've made a backup of my website within WP Engine. So I'm going to go ahead and click on no thanks. I already did this. We're not going to have a lot of plugins that to make up this site. And so we don't really have to worry about a backup before we update these plugins. However, it's a really, really good practice to back up your website before you make these updates because sometimes new code in these plugins can wreak havoc on other plugins that might find themselves to become incompatible with each other. And without a website backup, you could find that your site will break. So it's a good practice to make a backup within WP Engine before making these updates. All right, enough said. I've updated the Akeesmet anti-spam, and now I'm going to go ahead and activate it. And it's going to tell me that I need to set up an Akeesmet account. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And you don't have to pay for an Akeesmet account. You can get a free account simply by clicking on Get personal. I'll click on that. And then when I do, you're going to see that it's requesting $36 a year. All you need to do is click this and drag it to the left, and you're going to see that it makes it free. And I'll put in my email address, my first last name, and the personal site URL. This is going to be your domain name, your www. Then click these to agree that you don't have ads on your site, you're not monetizing your site for advertising. You don't sell products or services directly from your site like in e-commerce, and you don't promote a business on my site. That means that you're not an affiliate for other products or companies. And then go ahead and click continue with personal subscription. And then after you fill in that information, you're going to get to this page where it says, we sent you a temporary code. Please click on that email to verify your email address. And they're going to ask you for a code to paste in here. And of course, this is just strictly to verify that you are who you say you are and that your email address is valid. So I'm going to paste in the code that I received and click continue. And now it says sign up complete. We've sent you an email containing your API key. So now all I have to do is go back to that email, get the API key, and then I'm going to go back into a Keysmith settings and manually enter that API key. So now I'll navigate back to my website and I'm going to click on manually enter an API key and I received that email. I'm going to go ahead and paste that key in here and click on connect with API key. And you'll see it says Akeesmet is now protecting your site from spam. Happy blogging. And we don't have to do anything else here. I'll just click on save changes. And when I go back to plugins, installed plugins, you'll see that now this is configured properly and there are no more nags there. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a new plugin. And this plugin is going to allow us to receive emails from our contact form. Now, Divi is not very good at receiving emails from raw contact forms. And so there is a plugin that solves this for us. So we're going to type in WP mail 
SMTP. And if we just wait, we're going to see that this shows up right here, WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms. I'm going to click to install now. And it shows that it's installed, so now I'll click to activate. And then we're going to click on settings. If we scroll to the top, you'll see that we don't need a license for this. We're not purchasing the pro version. Scrolling down, make sure you have a from email, a valid from email address. And then I check on the force from email so that all emails that are sent to you are going to show that they're from your email address. From name, you can just put in your name or whatever you want there. And then you can also choose force from name. And then I choose the default PHP. Now again, this is only to assure that the forms that are filled out on your website are properly submitted and sent to you. And so the PHP default mailer is sufficient. And then once I've done that, I just click on save settings. Now, don't worry when you see this heads up. It says the default PHP mailer is currently selected, but is not recommended because in most cases it does not resolve email delivery issues. This is true if you're receiving hundreds of emails on a daily basis. So if that's the case for your particular website, then you might wanna choose one of the other options offered in there. But we're going to go ahead and click on save settings because it's certainly appropriate for our needs. And then once we're done, we can go back to plugins, installed plugins, and we can see that that is set up and properly configured. So that means now when we go to visit the site that we are confident that your forms when submitted here from this Let's Connect page, when somebody fills out this form and does this simple math for the reCAPTCHA, that these forms will actually be sent to you. Okay, you know what? You deserve a high five. I'm going to tell you, you have accomplished so much thus far, and your site is looking so beautiful and professional. Really, there's just a few steps left to complete this website aside from the marketing funnels. We need to now download the Rover IDX plugin and configure it for your brokerage or your agency so that we can properly display your properties on your site. You're going to have a really cool map section here with a search functionality and your listings down below it. And this is all perfectly configurable to your liking. And as I said in a previous video, I chose the Rover IDX for the beauty of its display and for the simplicity of its integration and installation. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so back from your homepage, we're going to go up to your site name and click on Dashboard. And then we're going to go to Plugins and Add New. And we're going to go ahead here and type in Rover IDX. And if we just wait, we'll see that that comes up. It's got 25 star reviews and active on over 100 websites. And I know from personal experience that this happens to be one of the superior plugins for IDX integration. It was last updated seven days ago and it shows that it's compatible with our version of WordPress. So we know that this is the IDX plugin for us. I'm going to go ahead and click on install now. And once that it's installed, we're going to click on activate. And then I see we have a message up here. It's a little hard to see. It's obscured by this Rover IDX banner, but it says Rover IDX does not support the blah, 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 WP permalink structure. Please choose a different permalink setting so Rover dynamic pages display correctly. So now is a good time for us to make sure that our what they call permalink structure is properly set for SEO. And we're going to go here to settings and then down to permalinks. And when we do that, we'll see that right now it shows common settings are plain. So your pages show your domain name and then it gives this kind of what I call gibberish to define your page names. What we want to do is click on post name and you'll see that that post name is populated there. 
And so by making this change, not only have we made our page more search engine optimization compatible, we've also allowed it to be compatible with the Rover IDX plugin. And you can see here, it says WordPress offers you the ability to create a custom URL structure for your permalinks and archives. This is basically just what is shown at the end of your domain name, your .com. And this can improve the aesthetics, usability, and forward compatibility of your links. So we choose post name, which is the exact setting we want. And then we're going to scroll down and click Save Changes. And we can go ahead and disregard that, clicking the X. But we see another nag here that says, Rover IDX, please select an MLS region. And this is what we wanted to do in the first place. So let's go ahead and click on that. And that will take us back to the MLS region selection page. So we're back on the Rover IDX page where we can select and save our MLS region. We'll just scroll through here and look through these various states to find your MLS area. I'm going to select mine and check the box and then come up here and click on save MLS region. It says saving settings. And now it tells me, welcome to Rover IDX 3.0, by far the fastest and easiest IDX to set up. Select your MLS region, which we've done, and place, this is a short code now, Rover underscore IDX underscore full underscore page on a page. And it says, see the video. You can take the time to watch the video. And then it continues to say, visit the styling section to customize your search panel, listing layout, and property detail pages. And then if you want, you can sign up for their how-to emails. Just put your email address in here and click on Let's Start. Then when you're in here, you can go ahead and click on the complete subscription process. You get a 30-day free trial, which is really cool. So you can test drive this thing. You've already selected, you can see as green, your MLS region. You can then go to these other selections, office and agents, default cities. We already have default property type set up. It shows it as condo, land, single family. Of course, you can come in here and customize this. You can say, okay, not land, single family, townhouse, yes. Uh, do you do rentals? And then save property types. And then you can X out of here and you'll see that these are updated. And then of course, you're going to want to put in your contact and phone. And then you can scroll down And these options are automatically saved. You don't have to click save anywhere in here. Now here they also show you a short code quick start. You can use the full page of which we've already copied, a search panel, IDX results as a table, as a map, IDX results. Uh, this search panel is going to all of these things. All of these are going to be selected Choose whichever you want there. And when you do go to complete your subscription, you can click on complete subscription process and just send them an email. And then sometime during your 30-day trial, you'll want to start your subscription so that it doesn't expire. You just click on complete subscription process and it will pop up a blank email. And you basically just send an email saying, I want to get started. And they'll send you a response with all of the details for this, Rotor ID, for this Rover IDX. I believe it's only $50 a month. For this Rover IDX. And I've saved the best news for last. This Rover IDX subscription is only $50 per month for a, for a single agent. So that is anything $50 and less is virtually free in my book. And I saved the best news for last. The Rover IDX brokerage, the Rover IDX functionality 
The Rover IDX functionality is only $50 a month when you subscribe. That is super cost effective and worth it's worth and it's worth every penny. So go ahead, enjoy the free 30-day trial, set it up, and enjoy this on your website. So we've copied the Rover IDX full page short code, and now let's just go back to our site and make sure that this is properly, make sure that this is properly configured so we can, and make sure that this is properly implemented. I'm gonna go ahead and click on visit site. And then I'll come down to my IDX setting and you can see it is there. I'm just gonna click on Enable Visual Builder. And scroll down. And you'll wanna make sure that on this panel here, when you click on, Then you'll also want to be sure to manage your default cities and you can select any of these here. I'm going to click on none just to get rid of all these and then I'll come through here and I'll basically just put my particular cities where I represent. And when I'm done going through all of these, I will click on save cities. And it says that they're saved, so I'll X out of this. And now, this short code that I copied, I have already integrated into your website for you. So now when you come back to visit your site up here at the top left, click on visit site, you'll see when we scroll down, we already have your plugin configured to show your listings. And again, this is all based on the settings that you just set in your Rover IDX plugin. So how cool is that? But since these series of videos are all about how to create an awesome agent website, I won't go into the specifics of setting up and customizing the IDX broker plugin. You can just visit roveridx.com and there are all kinds of details there to further customize and configure your MLS plugin. In the next and final video of this section, I'm going to show you how to make some necessary changes from within your hosting account and take your new website live to the world.